Hey guys, Bob Gaskin here with another ration review for you. Uh, again, I'm out here in Yellowstone Park. Um, man, just having a great time this week. You know, my wife and I, we've seen all kinds of things. We've seen all types of nature from bears to uh, buffalo, elk. Uh, saw some goats uh, and, and just wonderful time, man. The, the buffalo coming right up to the car. The, my wife stood within about 25, 30 yards of a black bear taking pictures while it was sleeting on us. So been to altitudes as high as 9,200 feet and, and just viewing nature and its whole, the, the waterfalls and, and everything. It's been a great time, but what I wanted to focus on now was another ration review for you. This one is an IMP 13. This is the uh, smoked meat uh, with demi-glaze sauce. Um, love the IMPs, you know, a lot of folks out there do videos on the, um, the MREs. Um, an IMP is, is uh, Canada's version of an MRE. So again, this is an IMP 13. That means that it, in 2013 was the year this was introduced into service. Uh, it has an expiration date here of November 2016. Uh, this is a smoked meat demi glaze, a uh, smoked meat with demi glaze sauce, um, and it's menu number nine. So let's just go ahead and jump right in here. Now out here, they do not like you to have a fire. Uh, fire hazard this week is very high due to the high winds so um, one of the things that they've recommended is no open flames uh, that are wood burning uh, and I really I just don't really want to get out that new uh, camp stove I have so uh, I'm just going to use a flameless ration heater here out of an MRE uh, so good stuff so let's see what we've got inside here uh, we've got a hunk of the bread uh, the bread in the IMPs is really good guys it's very moist buttery uh, I've got some chewing gum here for after eating to clean your teeth peppermint for some fresh breath uh, of course as always they provide matches what do we have here Nest Cafe uh, it's the caramel flavor oh I love these this is the creamy caramel filled Hershey's bar guys uh, this third or fourth different IMP from 2013 that I've had that's had those in it and I just love those got some condiments here some mustard which I'm not a big fan of uh, they give you two of those uh, and the peanut butter now the peanut butter in the IMPs guys I'm telling you it tastes just like Jiffy I, I love that stuff Let's see what is this oh mashed potatoes I probably won't make this up uh, at this time because again you need boiling water and I'm not planning on boiling any water uh, peach flavored sports drink there should be two of those yep there's the second one uh, ooh raspberry jam I'll tell you I love the raspberry jam it's my favorite thing in these uh, IMPs without a doubt the main which is again smoked meat with the glaze and sliced apples so this should be really good i'm going to go ahead and get the um, main going in the flameless ration heater i'll be back sorry guys a couple more things here a wet wipe the beverage bag uh, for mixing up your drink mixes in of course i'm just going to use the bottle uh napkin and an extra long spoon so that's it it's everything in the bag up oh, no it's not toothpick it's everything in the bag so We'll, uh, we'll get the main going in the flameless ration heater, and we'll be ready. Okay, guys, I'm back. While we're waiting for that main to finish up with the heating, and let me tell you, using the Canadian IMPs in a U.S. MRE ra flameless ration heater is not an easy task. It's very difficult. you got to fold it just right and work it in there. But while we're waiting for that, I'm going to mix up these. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use both of these peach drinks in here. Each one calls for about a half of a bottle of water, so about 500 milliliters or 16.9 uh, ounces uh, for both of them. It's kind of funny. Uh, while I had the camera off, I got up, went over to my truck to get some more stuff out, and while I was there, this giant raven, things biggest raven I've ever seen, sat down and decided it was going to uh, enjoy some of the food, so I had to rush back over here real quick. So get that good mixed up. Oh yeah, it has a nice peach flavor to it. 
You know, one of the things I like about the IMPs is they don't use a lot of artificial flavorings and colorings. Oh yeah, that's good. It's got a little on the sweet side uh, with a bit of a dry aftertaste, but much better than anything I've gotten out of the US MREs. So let's get this, as you can see, this flameless ration heater. I really had to work it in there, get it shoved down in there. Fold it different ways. Boy, that's hot. As you can see, we had to kind of fold up the edges a little bit. But it is all good, all good. Get that mixed up real well. So this has a uh, best by date of November 2016, so it's still within date. A little concerned though, I've never had a retort pouch that had that much air in it before, so give it the old taste test. Make sure it's still good. It doesn't appear to have any punctures in it, so I don't think it opened up, but just never know. About time to sharpen that knife, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, guys, this is... Let's get a good look at that. Inside that pouch is plenty of sauce, slices of meat. This, this should be very, very good. Sorry about the camera issues. My wife's not with me right now, and so I'm having to do all of this with the iPad leaned up against things. And this really, this should be more of a fork meal than a spoon meal. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. It's really tender meat. Very tender. Set that off the side. Let that cool down a little bit. Super hot from being in that flameless heater. Again, I'm not going to be able to do the mashed potatoes this time around. <coughs> mm. Got a little peppery in there. That's good stuff. <clears throat> so as for the side, gives us some sliced apples. So let's get that opened up. See how it comes out. Mix it up real well. Shut it down. These, uh, the Canadian retort pouches from Baxter, they just don't tear as easily as the US MREs, but the food inside is so much better. Oh, wow. Let y'all get a look inside here at these sliced apples. I mean, I think it's just full of juice and big slices of apples. This should be very good. Very sweet, soft, big slices. I mean, just big slices of apple. That's one slice, y'all. Mm. That is really good. Tell you what, the the bread and the peanut butter and jelly, I'm going to save that for later also. I'll do another video on that here in a little bit and add it into the back of this one. It did not need the ration heater. Um, gum is just chiclets. So, folks, that's uh, it's the Canadian IMP. That's the smoked meat with the demi glaze with the sliced apples and the peach flavor drink. Hope you enjoyed it. Hey guys, Bob Gaskin here again. I uh, told you I would wrap up the video with the IMP 13, the uh, smoked meat and demi glaze sauce. Uh, when I stopped for a break, so I have. I'm going to show you where I've stopped for a break at. I mean, guys, this is, just, this is just beautiful. I'm really loving it out here at Yellowstone. So for break, snack, I'm going to have the Nescafe caramel-flavored coffee. Boiled up a little water a little while ago. This is the caramel-flavored. That nice and stirred up.
as you can see it's got a real nice rich creamy flavor to it here we go and we're going to have the pain bread Let's go ahead and cut that open. And seems a little on the dry side. You know, it's always a crapshoot with this stuff. That's why I like the hamburger buns out of the IMP 14s better. Need up that peanut butter real well. This is the peanut butter out of the IMPs. Guys, I'm telling you that peanut butter, it's so much better than the U.S. peanut butter and their MREs. This, the IMP peanut butter tastes just like Jiffy. I mean, it is just good stuff. Probably should have kneaded that up a little bit more. Remember, guys, when you're in the parks, if you pack it in, pack it out. Make sure you take all your trash with you. And this is the raspberry jam. I love the raspberry jam and the raspberry drink mixes out of the IMPs. They are just so good. Let's get a look at that real quick. Alright guys, so this has been the IMP 13 menu number 9, the um, smoked meat and demi glaze sauce, wrapping it up with a nice peanut butter and jelly sandwich and a Nescafe coffee. Y'all have a good day.